there it was, staring me right in the face. That new Cars backpack that I had always dreamed of getting ever since I saw it in the commercials on TV. I was so, so determined to get that backpack at the time that I would save up as much money as I could just in order to get that one thing that I so rightfully deserved in my life because I'd worked so hard to save money. I checked the price tag, $200. I was over here thinking $5 could buy me a backpack. Eventually, I learned that it was important not to be greedy. Except the difference here, though, was it wasn't just me being greedy, but I was being foolishly greedy. What happened was I didn't actually know the circumstances. I just knew what my goal was. I didn't know how I was going to achieve it, but I knew I wanted that backpack so bad that I just fell into a deep, swirling darkness period of greed. Foolish greed. The dog in his reflection is the epitome of showing how being foolishly greedy is ultimately the wrong thing to do. The dog is carrying a bone and he sees a reflection of himself in the water. Except this dog thinks that his reflection is actually another dog who is holding an even bigger bone. The dog goes in to jump after himself and get the bone and he ultimately ends up almost drowning and has to swim to safety. We all can learn a lesson from this as to not be foolishly greedy. We can analyze the aspect of being foolishly greedy through a movie example of a superhero who may not be super after he blows away all of his cash. One of the most successful, also unsuccessful empires in the world and also the biggest flop in NBA history. Firstly, we can take a look at Iron Man himself. Tony Stark is the creator of Stark Enterprises, and he's also well known for his superhero identity, Iron Man. Now the Avengers Age of Ultron just came out, and I've been dying to see it. But I also realized that Iron Man actually has some very bad values that a superhero must not possess. He is so filthy rich that he can just blow his money out on everything. Little does he know though, that in the first Avengers movie, money doesn't actually buy everything. His greed and the things that he wants to do with all of the money eventually run out. And he's forced to save the world with other people who aren't as fortunate as he is to have so much money, but he can't even use what he has in the first place. His foolish greediness ultimately leads to a state of depression not actually being able to get what he wants. But we see that being foolishly greedy can happen to superheroes as well. Secondly, we can take a look at the British Empire, who has taken over, who had taken over countries such as India, the USA, and even lots of other European and Asian countries. The British Empire had taken control of over one third of the world. Except the thing here was, the British Empire was so cocky and so confident about their ruling over all the other countries, they just let it slip when a few other countries here and there managed to get past their ruling. They were being too greedy. They just wanted more and more. They wanted to expand themselves without ever thinking about the consequences of taking over such powerful nations. Nations like India, the US, other Asian, European countries, they rebelled against the British and ultimately beat them. Great Britain is just a small country in the middle of Europe now. It's nowhere near as powerful as it was before, all because of its greediness to expand. The foolishly greedy Great Britain Empire eventually came to a collapse because of the way it behaved and acted. Lastly, we can take a look at an NBA legend who is only legendary because of the bad luck that he had brought to his team. Kwame Brown was the number one pick in the NBA draft a few years ago. Now being the number one pick in an NBA draft is quite an honor. And you also must live up to your expectations as that number one pick. 
Kwame Brown felt so confident and so cocky about his basketball skills that he demanded a higher contract than the rookie contract he was being given. Demanding the higher contract and ultimately raising his expectations was the most foolishly greedy thing he could have done. Eventually, he collapsed too. He was the biggest flop in NBA history because the team had put so much of their expectations on that one player and he just couldn't live up to those expectations. Being foolishly greedy and self-imposing those restrictions and high expectations on himself eventually led him the wrong way. In conclusion, we've seen how Iron Man from the Avengers, the British Empire, as well as Kwame Brown have been foolishly greedy and eventually resulted in the thing that they didn't want, their own collapsing. The dog in his reflection just shows that being foolishly greedy can eventually lead to self-harm. We must not be foolishly greedy because it is important to us to acknowledge what we have, not take anything for granted, and know where our limits are. Being foolishly greedy is something we must not do, and it's something that we are. And not being foolishly greedy is ultimately the right way to go. Thank you.